Hey guys, so I'm back on the 71 Super Beetle. Uh, just took it to a bug meet. The Bus Pilots Association do this meet where they meet at a burger drive-in and then I'll wagon train to a bowling alley. And uh, it's called the February Freeze Out. It's super fun. So if you're ever in Boise, uh, look up the Bus Pilots Association. Those guys are great. Uh, I did 75 miles an hour on the freeway to get there. So I'm really happy with the performance of the car after the fire. Uh, everything's uh, running like a clock. I'm pretty happy. But the front end still leaves a lot to be desired. It's got the old Super Beetle shimmy. And so I went ahead and got me the tried and true MP urethane kit with the two-piece bushing. So it should all go in pretty easy. But on closer inspection, after getting under here, this car was lowered and they hit a curb or something and tore up this front apron pretty good. So I'll be replacing that whole front apron. Um, I found them for, you know, between $100 and $150 and get them without these louvers too, which I actually like the look of. So uh, I'll be tackling that in a later video, but it doesn't really bother the functionality of the car, so I'm not too worried about it. What does bother the functionality of the car is these jacked up bushings. Now when they hit whatever they hit, they took out this sway bar bracket too. It's pretty dented in and crushed that grommet, which was on its way out anyway. And they stuck like a piece of hose in here with a hose clamp. Uh, I'm not sure what that accomplished, but uh, yeah, we'll be handling that. And obviously the sway bar bushings and the control arm bushings, they're all way past their prime and also notice these uh tie rod ends are no bueno so be replacing both of those on the outside on the inside they've actually i don't know if you can see that they've actually been replaced they're brand new so it's kind of weird that they replaced the inner ones not the outer ones uh these are you know 20 bucks autozone o'reilly napa They've all got them. If they don't have them in stock, they can have them that afternoon or the next morning. So those aren't hard to come by. No big deal. These ball joints actually look pretty good. Um, I won't know for sure until I get the control arms off and check the play, but they look like they haven't been on there too long uh, on either side. So uh, I don't have my hopes up too high, but again, pretty easy fix. No big deal. But I got a feeling those will get me another few miles down the road so that's where i'm at uh all the bolts look like they've uh not suffered too much in the way of corrosion so i think everything's going to come off pretty easy and i just jinxed myself <laughs> either way let's get after it it's val let's make it fair all right got all my new goodies in from J Bugs. New ball joints. Nice and pretty and nice and stiff. See the old ones were way gone. New tie rod ends. Beautiful. Super stiff. See the old one. Way gone. Went ahead and took my control arms to a local machine shop and had them press those old bushing collars out for me. And they also media blasted them. Look at that. That looks brand new. That's a 50 year old part. The only bad thing about it that is, uh, <laughs> look at my sway bar. That has not been media blasted. I'm gonna take a wire wheel to that. Make it shine. Got my bushing kit ready to go. All right. Let's get it all in here and get this sucker back on the road. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got it all buttoned up. See how we did. Take it for a little spin. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. All right, steering feels real good. Shaky, shaky. So the alignment's not perfect. But the 
shaking is gone. Probably still use some new struts up front. Cool. So it's really windy out here. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm very happy. All right. Hi, Volks. So, let's see what we can see. We've got our new bushings in, new ball joints, tie rod ends, control arms are all pretty. So I'm pretty happy with that. Not a difficult fix. Got the tools. No big deal, man. Runs great. Drives great. Steers great. Pretty stoked. Well, next chore will be to get after that front apron. That uh <laughs> I'm gonna go get back on my 67. Get that one running first. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Good job. Make sure you bring it back with a full tank. Okay.